friends, Hina Bhatt is going to conduct an art camp on behalf of Hina Bhatt Art Ventures which is called, Intriguing Journey of Abstracts. Today we are inaugurating one of these camps. I extend my good wishes to all the participants in this camp. I hope and wish that this camp will help them find direction and strength in their work. May their work in this camp be so outstanding that it is talked about all over the world. My blessings to all those who are participating in this camp. I've seen during my travel across India that such camps are being conducted in almost every state. Just like this one, most camps are being conducted online due to COVID. I would like it if artists are freed from doing things virtually, because after all there is a world of difference between speaking through a screen and speaking in person. I hope that this difference vanishes and wish that artists attain success and strength like before. May they find a direction and prosper. I've been told that this camp is associated with abstract art. There is lot of confusion regarding abstract art in our country. Since there is confusion about it in the country it is not surprising that there is confusion amongst individuals too. There is a saying, when in Rome do as the Romans do. So if the country is orange all of us will try and become orange, if the country is black then we'll become black, if the country is in shambles, we'll be too. This is how the journey of relationship between people and their country has been. Abstract art has been hugely misunderstood. This is because misunderstandings stem from understanding and misunderstandings should evolve into understanding which hasn't happened. But for that understanding to happen, artists need to keep creating art, they should be drawing constantly. Art is a quest. Artists need to keep exploring and this should happen unceasingly. Someone might say that in abstract, something starts here and ends there, but they would be wrong. Any art, why just abstract, when any art begins, even when it ends on paper, the paper might might have a limit, but it is limitless in the artist's mind. The artist keeps thinking about his art over again and again and sometimes he might think that something is incomplete. He works on it again and has the opportunity to work on it again. This opportunity is more in abstract art. In a subject of painting this opportunity is non-existent but in abstract art it is abundant. You can work on the same canvas or can work on 10 canvases or how many ever you wish. This in a basic opportunity in abstract art. What is the second opportunity? Your thoughts about abstraction. If you can look back again and again and look forward and refine your thinking then there is no other art like abstract art in this world. Because these abstractions don't tie you down to a place or a certain subject. They don't dictate what you do. They don't restrict you to a definitive definition. It gives you freedom. Other subjects don't offer you that liberty, you have to attempt them. In abstract, you are the subject, your mind is the subject, your thoughts, your way of thinking, your dreams are the subject. It encompasses everything. Because of this, abstract artists sometimes have a difficult time because it is not easy to deal with all this. How do you handle all this? But artists need to cope. Abstraction is not just disfigurement and use of different colors. Abstraction shows you a path, a path that everyone from Picasso to Tape found. You should try and find it. Hussein for instance. When Hussein arrived on the art scene he would paint birds, roosters, ducks and goats, basically whatever he saw around him. After he came to Mumbai and observed what was happening in Mumbai he waged a different war, what was thriving at that time, what people called realistic, he changed that reality. He didn't break it but he rendered it a different form which ventured towards abstraction. Many artists took inspiration from this and began drawing like Hussein. But then they realized that they can't be mimicking Hussein because they'll be branded as a Hussein copy artist. So some painters emerged independently from these and formed their own groups. Some, like Vasudeo Gaitonde preferred to stand on his own. There are many who chose to be by themselves but Gatton's choice to remain independent is something that makes you think. Other artists choosing an independent path is not as thought-provoking. We have a lot of books carrying information about the subject, Gaitonde himself shared what he knew and what he understood. I have written a number of books myself. 
there have been three to four books so far. Pal Shikar has also written, many renowned artists, I am not one of them, I am just telling you. These artists have written their views. Society should take inspiration from their opinions. The question that arises here is how much do children know, how aware are students? Artists will have knowledge if children know. If the artists have knowledge they will pass it on to the community. If the society doesn't know we might think that the core is rotten somewhere. But that is not necessarily the case. People can recognize shapes, colors and texture in an abstract. They can enjoy these elements. When someone makes a rangoli during Diwali, it is appreciated by people. There are colors in the rangoli. But the question is whether the colors that are being appreciated are the design. They appreciate the design. Similarly here if a design is drawn, it will receive appreciation. If there is a mere play of colors or an expression of colors then most people don't understand it. There should be an accord between the artist and the public, they need to come together and ask each other questions. Usually artist doesn't step out of his threshold and neither are the viewer willing to look inside. Such camps help unite those who do abstract art and those who don't know what abstraction is or those who don't understand it. This way at least a handful of people begin to comprehend what abstraction is. Abstraction is not random. It portrays some thought of the artist. Such shows and camps help promote this thought. Such camps should encourage discussions. These discussions could go to the extent of becoming arguments. If we don't say anything then we won't understand anything. And if we don't understand then we won't be able to explain it to others. Friends, I would like to extend my best wishes to this camp of yours, which is being arranged by Hina Bhatt. If possible I'll also drop by and discuss with all of you. I cannot promise that right now because I have an ongoing show at present in Delhi. I'd like to invite all of you to that show. Do come and I look forward to discussions there. Once again, I'd like to wish your art camp the best. Wish you success. When I ask you to succeed, I don't mean in the eyes of the world. I want you to be successful in your own eyes. Once that happens you can surely conquer the world. Thank you very much.